The Lincoln Electric gives back with the Power MIG 140 MP multi process welder. We'll talk about the details when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson, and you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Lincoln Electric has released the Power MIG 140 MP. And by MP, I mean multi process. Now, Lincoln is not new to the multi-process welders. In fact, we've reviewed them before. Uh, but this is a very simplistic approach to it. It's a pure 120 volt welder, so it doesn't have the 240 volt capabilities. It's just 120 volts, so very simple machine. Uh, just two knobs, no electronic screen, no LCD screen, two knobs, a button to basically select between the processes, between TIG, MIG, and stick. Uh, and that's about it. So when I say simplistic, I don't want it to mean that it can't do a lot of things. It's just very easy to use, very dumbed down, uh, and a great beginner's welder, a great hobbyist welder, a great uh, welder for that person that's uh, either got a small shop that doesn't do a lot of heavy duty stuff or for that garage. So great unit, under a thousand bucks, you can kind of get all in with this. Of course, you're not gonna get a TIG set up with that, but still, you're gonna be able to MIG and stick with that and uh, and again with just 120 volts so no special plugs or anything like that now i reached out to lincoln because we're involved with a camp it's called summer merit camp and this camp is fantastic this is for boys that are and i say boys more young men from say 11 12 years old up to about 18 years of age and it is a merit camp so this is the ranger program and this is basically a scouting program on steroids if you will and basically they're able to go to this four-day camp and kind of a supercharged merit camp where they can earn merits uh, and each year we include at least one skill or one trade labor, if you will, or, or trade skill to teach these boys. Last year it was mechanics. This year it was metalworking. So we had the opportunity to, hey, we can involve some welding here. We can teach them about tooling. We can teach them about metallurgy, things like that. So I reached out to Lincoln and I said, hey, listen, there's an opportunity here. We're going to have like 60 boys, uh, four days. They're not going to have cell phones. Uh, their cell phones are going to be in a lockbox. This is all about merit. It's going to be hardcore fun. They're going to have a blast. They're going to be climbing rock walls, but they're also going to be learning things. And one of the things they're going to be learning is welding. Do you want to get involved? And so I thought, man, it would be great if they could give a welder that we could give away to one of these boys. And Lincoln stepped up and they didn't send a Power MIG 140 MP. They sent two. And not only that, they sent the two Power MIG 140s, and then they also sent two of their Viking series auto darkening helmets. They sent gloves. They sent kind of the whole shebang where when these boys, two boys, walked away with this equipment, they could start welding. So it was just phenomenal the way that, that Lincoln stepped up. And I'm telling you, I was hoping to get one of these machines in, in the shop beforehand so I could actually kind of do a review on it. Wasn't able to. In fact, we got the machine shipped literally the day of the camp starting. So it was kind of late getting in. Wasn't Lincoln's fault. A lot of other stuff in the background that caused that. But anyway, the point is, I wanted to use this in the shop before getting down there because I just wanted to know how, it was gonna, how they were going to weld. It couldn't be a simpler process of setting these things up. As you would expect from Lincoln, these Power MIG 140s, they just worked right off the bat. Whereas usually on the, on the multi-process where there's an LCD screen that kind of walks you through that, again, very easy to go to that chart, open up the door, see the chart, set it on the machine if you don't know what you're doing and you're off to the races. Now, one thing a friend once told me is it said, you want to see the dynamics of a situation change, put up a scoreboard. Now here's what I mean by that. We had 60 boys and actually about 30 something of them, we were teaching the older ones in the metal or in the, in the metal working. And so we had about 30 boys and this is a cross section of all kind of young men. In fact, we asked them, hey, what are you doing next? You know, you're about to graduate from high school. Where are you headed next? And of course, a lot of them say they're going to college and others were said they were, you know, they were going to be software engineers and, and, uh, and then a couple said mechanics and then a couple said, uh, you know, one said aircraft and another one said, you know, plumber. Uh, but you didn't hear a lot of trades. That's typical. You hear that, hey, everybody wants to hear that I'm going to college. But we know that, man, the trades are hurting for good, qualified, skilled people. So that's why we like it, this merit camp, to really pump into them to say, hey, 
There are trades out there that you may not be cut out for college, and there's nothing wrong with that. And you can make good money in trades right out of school and not have any debt. So again, that's what we were trying to encourage them. Not necessarily pump welding down their throat, but just to encourage them to be in the trade. So again, Lincoln stepped up in a big way to provide these welders to do so. Now, what I meant about the scoreboard is, is how to change a dynamic by putting up a scoreboard. So we had these 30 boys and we, and we split them into two different classes, if you will. So we were teaching, you know, 15 or 16 at a time. And, you know, a couple would be interested and that was about it. Uh, about 10 minutes in, I said, you know what, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. And I said, you know what, you see these two welders here? And they, they'd kind of seen them and looking at them and things. I said, we're going to give these away to two of you boys. And all of a sudden, there's a prize in it. And with that prize in it, every boy, I, I'm telling you without exception, every young man was now up to the task. Ears were open, eyes wide open, and they were engaged because you know what? Number one, I might be a winner. Number two, I might walk out of here with, you know, a thousand dollars worth of equipment. So I want to be known by my peers as the person that won, and I want to walk out of here with this loot. So again, you want to change the dynamic of a situation, put up the scoreboard. That's what we did. And thanks to Lincoln, we were able to do that. Now, these kids, these boys took to this, I mean, amazingly well. In fact, I really was hoping that by the end of, end of summer merit camp that they were maybe, you know, striking one arc to at least understand how, how it went. So once we realized that these boys, you know what, they're going to be able to actually strike an arc. They're going to be able to handle the torch, understand how this works. And so we actually cranked up the welders and just let them go at it. They did a few practice passes, just welding some angle iron down to a piece of, uh, of plate steel. And then we thought, you know what, okay, let's put the project in front of them. And what was the project? Very simple project, uh, well, to you and I maybe, but to them, they've never done this before. But basically, we had a bunch of horseshoes, we had some angle iron, had some square tubing as a kickstand, and we had them make a nice little tablet stand or book stand or whatever you want to call that. But we were amazed. We were absolutely amazed. Every single one of these young men were able to accomplish this task. And not only that, by the end of it, by the end of camp, all these were displayed on their desk or on their table right in front of them. So when it's coming time to leave, when their parents are coming to get them, when whoever's coming to get them is coming, and they're sitting there and they've got all their papers and their books, and what are their books sitting on? their tablet stand, the, the new thing they bought. I'm telling you, they cherished these things. They were crazy about it because their hands made it. And so we were able to ignite something in them. And I'm telling you, we could not have done it without Lincoln Electric. Uh, just a phenomenal step up for that. And then the two young men that actually won these welders, they were pumped. One of them is going to be an, an aircraft mechanic. They're already training. They're going to an academy in high school that's locally here in Central Florida and going to be a, learning to be an aircraft, aircraft mechanic. And then the other one wanted to be an electrician, so still in the trade. So we were blown away. They, they loved it. They absolutely had that spark ignited in them. And I'm telling you, as a young man, just think of this. They will always remember that because that's just something that even if they're a software engineer, uh, even if they're writing code somewhere, even if they're a scholar, uh, you name it, they're always going to remember that experience. And if they become a welder, they're always going to remember where that started from, where that passion was ignited. So again, I'm just blown away at the way that Lincoln stepped up to this. That Power MIG 140 MP is a great welder and just an exceptional welder for for these young men that walked away with it. Uh, again, simple, you know, 115, 120 volt uh, system. So you can plug it into any wall outlet. Uh, you're gonna get a, a 90 amp, basically it's 30 amps to 140 amps, but at a 20% duty cycle, you're getting 90 amps at 19 and a half volts. So that is kind of your operating range. Uh, so it's gonna be a great welder for say that, you know, quarter inch and 3 sixteenths and an eighth inch metal, 10 gauge stuff, sheet metal, auto repair, things like that. It's going to be a great welder for that. And again, very simplistic. You know, two knobs on it, easily operated. I really like the MIG torch. It was a great MIG torch that came with it. And you can operate this thing on a bottle uh, with your argon CO2 mixture or obviously with your 100% argon if you're going to TIG with it. So you just have to buy a foot pedal and a TIG torch. Um, but again, a great machine to get started for somebody. We'll have the PowerMig 140 MP written up on the website and we'll link to that as well. Um, 
Thank you again to Lincoln Electric for stepping up and making this summer merit camp just a phenomenal opportunity for some young men. This is a great little welder. Check it out from Lincoln Electric, the Power MIG 140 MP multi-process welder. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of more videos like this. And have a great day.